Real Eventa was crazy. <laughs> Rapids varied from fun, good, class two, class three paddles to just heinous boulder saves. I was expecting smaller rapids based on my internet research. Great landscape, the canyon is amazing. And then we found out the river was too small to really run, and sometimes we could run pretty well, and other times we're just portaging all the time. I thought like there was gonna be this little use trail where you're gonna kinda like walk in the dirt of a shore and we're just gonna be carrying things for a couple hours, like just a little path-ish type thing. But really it was like lifting all our crap multiple times over boulders and crawling through things and swimming and like river crossings above plastics rapids and sieves and awkward boats lugging things in and out of the water, wet constantly. We all worked together really well as a team and got all of our gear through efficiently. And <laughs> it was a good adventure. So the river at points was, for all practicality, too shallow for us to run a lot of the rapids. Uh, a lot of sliding the pack rafts over rocks definitely abused the crap out of our boats. That, that happened every day. Like, I don't even know where all those rocks came from. And then the rain started, and it didn't really stop for a few days. <laughs> the rains just came and didn't want to leave, and so it was. It changed the experience and made it more of a. a um, I, I like to think of it as a South American feel. Kind of made everything more uh, feel like more ancient, isolated, exciting. A great camp. Beautiful, the walls are overhanging and like 12 feet high. We're paddling along through some open terrain and we turn the corner and there is just the mother of all caves in front of us. The ceiling must have been 500 feet tall and the lighting in there was just magnificent. It's, it's hard to describe in words. The Curse of Pepe is the amazing experience of having projectile materials coming out of both ends of your body. Starting on the second day, one person does it. And every day subsequently, um, another person in our group contracted Pepe's revenge. I haven't seen anybody throw a battle of pack rafts before. <laughs> there's, there's three types of fun in the world. Uh, 
type 1 fun is fun in the moment and it's fun later on. So an example would be like a roller coaster or eating ice cream. Uh, type, type 2 fun is uh, it, it's not fun necessarily in the moment, but when you look back at it, it's pretty awesome. So an example of that would be mountain. And type 3 fun is just no fun. Like that is revenge. Around the next thing, the canyon is hiking down, and in the distance you can see this just beautiful waterfall room. There was waterfalls cascading 150, 200 feet off of travertine formations down into this beautiful blue green oasis. When all said and done, it was an amazing experience. I would do part of it again if it was not raining. The weather on the river was variable. <laughs> it... So, Andrea, how's the how's the trip going? <laughs> Could be better. Puking and cheating everywhere, but puking and cheating everywhere. You don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. The boats are supposed to be for floating, but they were mostly for like walking along like a little dog with our stuff in them. Okay. In my boat?